And this is a case that you say has one foot per firmly planted in the Gilded Age and another in the Progressive Era. We're going to watch this video and then have you talk more about the conditions and what was happening in the United States around this time. Let's watch. Okay. Lochner v. the State of New York was all about bakery conditions in New York at the turn of the 20th century. At that time, bakery workers worked in underground cellar bakeries, much like this one, where they had to toil for many, many hours every week, producing bread to feed a vast and growing city. At that time, there were about 2,500 or even more bakeries in New York City, an incredible number. And the bakery workers would have to um, come down into these cellars and, es and essentially spend their lives here. This floor here, which you can, can see is tile, would actually have been probably made out of dirt or wood. So it would always have been soggy and dirty. Um, the utensils were never cleaned because they had no hot water at, at the, uh, the, the sink here. Um, so they would just sort of scrape the spatulas and other bread making equipment, but nothing would ever, ever be clean or sanitized. And then here we come to the oven. This is an oven from about the turn of, of, of the uh, 20th century. And it would have originally have been a coal-fired oven, and there would have been a big pile of coal right over here, um, black coal, with a lot, which was ki always kicking up a lot of dust, so everything in the room would have been grimy with coal dust. And then the oven here would belch lots of hot fumes, also laden with coal dust, and the bakery workers were breathing this all day. And the bread would have been stored, the baked bread would have been stored somewhere around here, and the baked bread also would have been covered with a thin layer of coal dust um, because that was what the atmosphere of the uh, uh, cellar bakery was. And um, then you add to that the fact that there perhaps were vermin running around and cats to catch the vermin. And um, they find a nice um, row of warm loaves and they sit on them and sleep on them. Conditions in these cellar bakeries were not the most sanitary by any means, either for the product or for the workers themselves.